What's good YouTube, it's your man BG Tech Life and today we got that Pixel 7a on deck and we need to have a conversation so let's get straight into it. Okay YouTube, it's your boy BG Tech Life. Now as you know, my Pixel of choice is the Pixel 7a, it's the Pixel I'm rocking and this is how I keep up with all my stock Android goodness and everything Google is doing with the Pixel. Android 14, the official version had dropped. I was on the beta program prior, but when official Android 14 dropped, I had to go into a segment of videos just following up and seeing the changes that Android 14 made to this device. So after this video, you can go back and watch. I made a video about battery life. I made a, a full review. I made a camera video, a lot of videos on the Pixel 7a after Android 14. And I liked a lot of what Android 14 did with this device. I feel like it just made it run really well. Prior to Android 14, this wasn't a bad device at all. And I think with this device being the affordable tier of Pixel and having, a, you know, capping out at a 90 hertz display and being a smaller, more compact device, it makes the Tensor feel a lot more powerful, honestly. So even prior to Android 14, the device was cool with me, but after Android 14, there's a lot of little things that I was able to do with this device that I would have never really thought to do with a Pixel, especially the affordable series, the A series. There's some gaming. I did a lot on this device, guys, so go check out them videos. And I felt like this device really held its weight, especially for the price point to be like its lowest price. 400 something dollars brand new but now with my pixel 7a after android 14 series being over i actually went back to beta because i that's what i like about pixels that's what i like about this whole google experience seeing what's new playing with stuff seeing them fix stuff like in actual real time and things of that nature so now that android has released android 14 beta qpr 1 2.2 i had to see what it was about that's the latest beta is on this device now and i just want to see is a lot of fixes with this already off the break guys long list of fixes with this new beta and i'm feeling like it's getting this device ready for a feature drop because you know i believe december is supposed to be feature drop month for the pixels so i want to see what some of the older pixels get because a lot of new features came out with the pixel 8 series and i don't think that the hardware has been that much advanced on the Pixel 8 where the Pixel 7 Pro, where the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7a, or just the Pixel 8 won't get a lot of these new AI features and things of that nature. So I wanna see what Google actually has to offer for the masses of the Pixel since now they, they got their new devices out, they sold the devices that they wanted to sell, now it's time to just optimize everything. I wanna see what happens with this feature drop and probably the next coming month. So if you wanna try beta on your Pixels, this is an easy way to install it. I just go to Google myself and Google Android 14 beta and as you can see, Android beta program comes right up. I just click on that and it take you to the Android beta for Pixel website. You scroll down and you probably gonna have to sign into your Google account. And as you see, my Pixel 7a is here. It says opt out now, but if you're not on beta, it's gonna say opt in. You opt in and then you go ahead and check for a software update and Android is gonna shoot you the latest beta software. Now shout out to nine to five Google. They actually got a list of all the fixes is 34 fixes actually guys so if you have one of the later pixels and you having issues you might want to check this out because there's a lot of fixes with this beta and they actively fix in and you can actually be involved and actually leave feedback on what issues you have and google is constantly monitoring that so this is a list of fixes that can go across any device it is some pixel fold fixes and stuff like that but it's a lot of just general pixel fixes and some of these fixes have to do with Wi-Fi and connectivity and things of that nature. And I feel like that's one of the complaints that people have about these devices. So they might need to check that out because I feel like after the Pixel 8, Pixel 8 Pro was dropped, people start complaining about battery drain again and battery life. So you really got to be on top of the stuff and monitoring what's being fixed. So you may actually, it may actually apply to something that you're trying to get fixed and you might want to try to beta out. Now with that being said, this is beta. So if you don't have no leeway, if you just, if this is your singular device, you might not want to go beta. But even if you're not going beta, you can look at 
what Android or what Google is currently trying to fix on the Pixel and you can see if it's one of your issues and maybe in a later update like the December update or whenever the next feature drop is, you may have a fix for an issue that you have. Definitely a lot of fixes, guys. Too many to go over. I'm going to put a link to 9to5Google's actual article about all these fixes. But I'm having a good time with my Pixel 7a and I will continue on this Pixel 7a coverage probably till the 8a comes out. And that's what we'll move on to from the Pixel 7a. We'll go from the Pixel 7a to the 8a. I really like covering these 8 series pixels because it's just such a good bang for buck value at these prices a phone don't owe you a lot so i don't i'm not harping like i spent a thousand dollars at a four to five hundred dollar price point i can understand some of the caveats of the device but at the same time still be able to enjoy it and right now for four to five hundred dollars it's not a lot of caveats with this thing but it's your boy bg tech life thanks for watching if you're not subscribed get subscribed i'm out peace